When you're learning VORs, a concept that will cause a lot of confusion is the idea of reverse sensing. Let's set up an example to make this concept more intuitive. Here's a basic VOR approach. We're starting out to the west side of the approach course, which is along a north-south axis of the Fargo VOR DME. To be more precise, the approach course is 360, so we have that, or zero degrees, dialed in on the VOR receiver up top. The needle is deflected to the right, meaning to intercept, we'll need to fly to the right of the 360 course, which is why we're on a 030 heading. Flying that will lead us to the course and the needle centers when we're on it. Then we turn to the inbound course at 360 and fly in. Right now, the two indication is showing. If we fly the selected course on the OBS, we'll be going towards the station. When we overfly, the two flag disappears and flips to from. Now flying the selected heading takes us further away from the station. Many students take this to mean that the VOR dial responds to the direction we're traveling or the heading our aircraft is facing. Let's see how it actually works. We'll slide our aircraft east of the approach course. As you might expect, the needle deflects left. To get back on it, we'd need a heading left of the selected 360. Now let's say we drag the aircraft backwards. The needle doesn't move. We're traveling south even though we're pointed north. The flag flips back to two when we cross a beam the station. Let's rotate the aircraft 100 degrees around. The VOR head doesn't change. Let's drag the aircraft backwards again towards the north this time. The flag will flip again when we cross a beam the station. What we're learning here is that the VOR doesn't care what direction we're moving or heading we're facing. We might as well be a dimensionless dot on the map. We'll get rid of the heading indicator. With 360 set on the VOR head, being on the east side of the approach course always means the needle is to the left. As we cross from east to west, the needle swings through center to full right deflection. We could be facing any direction at all or moving backwards, it doesn't matter. If we move this way to intercept, the needle centers. But if we were to reverse and go the other way to intercept, the needle centers just the same. So here's where the reverse sensing comes in. So far, we've only had the VOR dialed into the approach course at 360. When we're west, of course, the needle is off to the right. But what if we had the reciprocal dialed in on the VOR, 180? The needle moves to the other side and the flag flips to 2. Now, what heading do we fly to re-intercept? It hasn't changed from before. We need to fly towards the northeast to intercept, but the information we get from the VOR has changed. Now, 180 is on the VOR head the reciprocal of before, and the needle is now to the left of center. It's sort of like a double negative, two wrongs. We're facing the opposite direction of what we have set on the VOR, and the needle is deflected opposite of where the course is in relation to us. This is reverse sensing. The VOR still works exactly the same way, it's just that we're using it differently. Now we visualize ourselves as the needle, and the course as the center circle off to our right. We have to fly to the right. But instead of flying right of the 180 set up top, we fly right of the reciprocal 360 set at the bottom. And this allows us to get the needle centered up. If this is confusing and feels like we have too many things to reverse to keep track of, let's fix everything by turning to 180. Once again, the heading on the VOR head and our actual heading are in agreement. If we drift to the west, the needle deflects left. We'll use normal sensing again, not because the VOR has detected that we're now facing the quote-unquote correct direction, but because the way we're using the information changes. In order to intercept, we fly left of the selected 180, which will allow us to re-intercept. The term reverse sensing makes you think the VOR somehow changes how it operates if you turn yourself around. Remember, the VOR doesn't know what direction you're facing or traveling. If your heading and VOR selection are roughly in alignment, the needle will work off of so-called normal sensing, so it's always best practice to set it up that way. For more great IFR insights, check out our full Instrument Ground School today at the link here and in the description.